we'll go ahead and move to the front of our chair and focus from the start on that good posture and specifically breathing through our belly for three deep centering breaths to bring us to the present moment. Sitting up straight, shoulders back, neck nice and long, chest out, be proud here. You can place your hand on your belly if you'd like for a cue. And then gently push that belly out to the wall in front of you and let it gently come back into your body, pushing out as far as you can, slowly back in for one more breath, gently push all the way out and all the way in. After that breath, you can come to the front. Make sure you have a little space to your side. You might need to shimmy your chair, kind of shift it, because we'll be swinging our arms a little bit, um, just in general, and especially for this first one. We're gonna have a nice, gentle reach to the side, so very slowly, very carefully here. I want you to feel your arms move through space. Feel your shoulders work, your elbows, your hands. Feel the air pass on your palms, coming up, up, as high as you comfortably can without pain. We are bringing our hands together at the top, coming in our prayer position. If this causes pain for you, you can bring your hands down a little bit, that's okay. Otherwise, at the top, holding that good posture position for three deep breaths through our belly, just like we started in and out, in and out, in. On the exhale, gently bring those hands down to your chest, slowly feeling those muscles once again. Pause in that good posture position at your chest, and we're breathing in and out, in and out. One more time for me, big breath in and out. From that position, you'll go ahead and bring your hands down. We're gonna place them either on our lower back or on your butt, whatever's more comfortable and whatever you have for mobility-wise. And then from here, gently pinching our shoulder blades back, pushing our chest out as far as we can, bringing those elbows back behind us, gently bringing our chin up towards the sky, letting our neck stretch from the front, the weight of our neck is becoming heavier at the back. We're taking a big, deep breath in through this position, feeling the energy fill our body, and then relaxing as we come back to the position, easing that breath out from that side. We're gonna do our pigeon pose next, either crossing your leg down below, or if you're able to, bring that foot up onto your knee, that will give you the best stretch, but if you can't get quite there, crossing down below is okay? Today we're gonna hold for about 30 seconds on a lower, okay? So I'm going to tell us to go down, we're gonna breathe in and out, go down a little bit further, breathe in and out, and we're just gonna keep progressively going down and down as far as we can, okay? Go ahead and start down nice and easy. Find the sticking point for yourself in the stretch and breathe in and exhale go a little bit deeper in that stretch not too much just a little and breathe into the area you feel it allowing those muscles to release as you breathe in and breathe out you're getting closer and closer to your leg with your chest your body is becoming more flexible. You're getting so close, you can almost touch it as you breathe in life. And exhale deep into the stretch. All together, one more 
as low as you can go. Breathing in and out. Come up out of that stretch easy here. At the top, take a breath. Exhale, very nice. Slowly repeating on the other side, crossing your leg down below if that's where you're at for your progression. Otherwise, foot up onto your knee. Go ahead and ease yourself down as low as you can go. This side's a little more stiff for me, so my starting point's a little bit higher for perspective. Go as low as you can for me and let's breathe together all the way in and out. A little bit deeper, breathing in and out. Good, breathe in and out, good. Keep going here, breathe into that area where you feel it, telling your body to relax, telling your muscles to release, and breathing in, and slowly letting it go as you come up all the way to the top, Excellent work. Very, very nice. And from this position, uh, we are going to do a lower back stretch. This is our chair twist. You're going to grab either side of your leg. And then from here, using your leg as leverage, you are pulling yourself deep as far as you can towards that same side, trying to actively look behind your shoulder while keeping those hips forward. You can even tilt your neck a tiny bit to get a little bit of a gentle neck stretch through that area. Now feeling the strength in your arms as you pull, the stretch in your neck and back as you relax, and you can take a breath in through this position. Exhale over to the other side. Keep breathing throughout. Go ahead and lock yourself down once again. Gently pulling yourself over to that other side. Nice and easy here, no rush. Find that deepest position and breathe love to, into your body. Being grateful for the strength in your arms as you pull and the ability for your body to relax as you breathe in and out. Back to the front, back to the center. Very, very nice. From here, we're going to tilt towards this side of our chair, move into our chair warrior pose. The cues for this is as close as you can, trying to get your front and back leg into a 90, 90 degree angle. And I can't really do it too much, but we're going to do our T pose. So my, it's going to be kind of a mini T pose for me, but for you guys, try to get a full T pose here. And then from this position, all I want you to do is just feel your arms, feel your legs, and feel all the different muscles that are working in this position. Take a breath as you hold and control those legs and arms. And exhale. Now we're going to gently tip our inside hand towards the center of the class. So we're kind of moving into an airplane pose in this position, feeling the shift of weight into the different muscles feeling how our different muscles are working now in this position as we breathe into our body, being grateful for the strength that we have. Coming back to the front T position, holding once more for one big breath in, one big breath out. Go ahead and relax. Excellent job on that side. I know that's a lot of tension on those legs and arms. Very very nice. Other side, same concept. T position as best as you can. We are holding for the start here. Feeling the strength through our core, neck, arms, legs, and how our entire body has to work in unison as we breathe in through this position. Breathe out, gently tipping your hand towards the center once again, into that airplane pose as we take a large, deep breath in. Large, deep breath 
out, back to the front, once again, holding that normal T position, feeling the fatigue in our muscles, but also the strength that we have being able to hold this position as we breathe in and breathe out, back to the front. Excellent job. Take another couple breaths after that. I know it was quite a bit of time under tension there. Very nice job. We'll do a gentle wrist stretch next. Um, this first one is just going to be kind of moving our fingers back and forth as much as we can, almost like you're like tapping on a piano or just moving them very gently. But the key with this is to be conscious, not just to kind of go with the flow. I want you to feel and let every digit in your finger flex and extend as much as you can, okay? So you're really being conscious here to those small muscles that often get neglected, moving them as much as you can. Go ahead and ball your hands into fists now. We're gonna do some gentle wrist rolls and wrist circles all the way around. Nice and controlled. Finishing off with a finger spread as far as we can. Now really open up that end range of motion as far as comfortably possible. Dig deep here for that stretch. Feel your entire body open up as you breathe in and breathe out. Relax those fingers, relax those hands. Very nice. Okay, what we're gonna do next is move into our splits pose. So as far as you can, out with your legs while keeping them nice and straight. And you might need to shimmy around. I know it's sort of uncomfortable on the back of your thighs there. So find a comfortable position. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple kind of side bends back and forth. So nothing too crazy here, but we're just gonna lean towards one direction. And when you lean, you're going to immediately start feeling this through your inner groin. Doesn't need to be a lot. Try your best to keep it just through your side and not bending forward. Just a tiny bend. Take a big breath in through this position. Exhale gently to the other side, very carefully. Ease as far as you can go. And if there's pain in this, you can sit back up and just hold that splits position. Take a big breath in for me. Big breath out, very nice. We're gonna do our diver's pose today, but from this position, so it's really gonna work your inner thighs. Clapping your hands together, out in front like so. And then when we do this pose, you're actually gonna be reaching as far forward as you can, thinking about keeping that chest up while reaching forward, okay? So two big things, you're gonna be feeling this through a lot of different areas. 30 seconds, okay? Be strong here, we're just gonna breathe together. Find the deepest position you can reach forward and breathe. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Feel the strength of your body. Maybe lean a little more forward and breathe. We got 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. A little bit more forward. Take your final breath. Gently come back out of this position and now hold handles in front of you in your imagination you're going to pull back as hard as you can almost as if that thing's resisting so hard you're going to feel the strength of your body maybe even get a little shaky here keep pulling back keep pulling back keep pulling back as hard as you can pinch those shoulder blades together hold this position now hold this position those handles are going forward don't let them go keep pulling back five four three two relax Relax, good. Go ahead and bring your hands and legs back in. Relax your body, take a couple breaths from that position. This next one we're gonna do, I'll actually take my shoes off so you can actually see this today. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, uh, ankle circles, but what I want you to do with this, and if you kind of look at my toes, I want you to actively flex and extend your toes almost as if they're like fingers, really trying to actively work those small muscles. So I know normally when I say it, it's kind of hard to conceptualize, but you're literally thinking about grabbing something with your foot, okay? Really trying to be consciously aware of all those muscles that usually get neglected in our ankles and our feet. Trying to go all the way around. Nice and controlled. Good, other side here, same concept. My left side, I can't do it quite as well, so I have to be a little more conscious about it and really, really focus my attention on moving those specific muscles. Good, very nice. Relax on that side. Back up to the front here. Good posture position, keeping that 
spine nice and erect. We're going to do some gentle neck circles, so try your best to keep that posture good the whole time. Pick a side for me, either side, doesn't matter. Make those circles as small or as big as you'd like. Something that feels good for you. Consistently telling yourself, I love you. Telling your neck, I love you. Telling your body, I appreciate you. For letting me do this movement and for giving me the energy to do even this small, simple thing. Go ahead and switch directions. Try to find roughly the same speed that's right for you. Find the distance of a circle that's right for you. Consistently breathing life into your body, feeling that neck release. As you finish one more slow repetition, all the way around and relax. Very nice. Back up to the front. Uh, make sure you're nice and close towards the edge here. We're going to do some hip circles. Sitting in that good posture position, go ahead and tip your body towards either direction to start. And the thing I like to really focus on here is feeling the different muscles getting worked as my back angle changes. So the more you reach towards the side, the more you're going to feel it through the opposite side. The more you reach forward, the more you're going to feel it through the back. And you can kind of really feel all those muscles work in different accord as you move around that circle. Very carefully, making sure we're breathing. Go ahead and switch directions here all the way around. Nice and controlled. No rush at all. Feeling the muscles, your bones, ligaments around your spine do their job. Your hips releasing, your back becoming renewed as you come up from that position at the top, taking a breath at the top and coming back to the front. We're gonna do a core exercise next. Uh, this one's called a reverse sit up. Very slow and controlled. Make sure you are as close as you can towards the front. That will make this uh, much more difficult. Um, so I, I guess if you wanna make it easier, sit back, but at least try it from the front to start. From here, good posture position. We are leaning back in our chair and we are going as slow as we comfortably can, okay? So I'm literally thinking, make this the world's slowest sit back ever. You might even feel your feet kind of come up. Do your best to fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Keep going, good. Once you've hit, you can use your core muscles to help you sit up, or you can even use your hands to assist. We're doing this for the next 30 seconds, so the whole goal of this is to just feel those tummy muscles work, doing their job, and most importantly, breathe. We are practicing breathing under stress, feeling the muscles as we breathe, coming back nice and controlled, easily through this position, all the way up. We got 10 more seconds, try to get one very slow and controlled lean back in your chair, nice and easy. Make it slower and slower and slower, all the way to the back, sitting up nice, and tall, very nice. And once you finish that last repetition, you can go ahead and lean back in your chair. We're going to have our lower back flush against the back of our chair. I'm gonna do a little bit of deep breathing to get you all set for the rest of your day. So once you're in that comfortable position in your chair with your back sitting up straight, your neck nice and long, you can find a position for your arms, legs, and body to rest easily. You can come back from your body now just to your breath. 
letting your breath guide you to peace, guide you to joy, and guide you to everything you need as together we breathe in slowly, drawing in that energy and feeling it release from our body as we relax that breath. And from this state of being, coming even more connected, even more connected to our soul, and becoming less and less present of our body. Feeling in ourselves the energy within our body and all around our body. Because after all, we are energy. Every cell, every tissue, every muscle, every organ, every thought, every word, every motion, it's energy. And the more we can connect to this energy that's all within you, and all around you, the more you can connect to something greater than you, something guiding you, something that knows more about you than you even know yourself. Something that knows things that you like, even though you don't even like them yet. Letting it guide you to people you haven't even met yet, but you will love so dearly. And knowing this, knowing that you have something greater than you, always looking down on you, always being your cheerleader, always guiding you to the exact person, exact place, and exact thing that you need every single second of every single day, if that doesn't make you feel special, then I don't know what will. And knowing this, knowing that this place right here was made for you, this moment is for you and only you. It's for you and your spirit to experience together. Because as we know, we are nothing without energy and we are nothing without our spirit. And the more we disconnect with this higher self, the more we feel anger, the more we feel hatred, the more we feel fear, and the more we feel depressed. So if you're feeling these feelings, even just a little bit throughout the day, it's fine. Feel them. But don't feel them the entire day. The moment you feel these emotions, 
immediately do something about it. Your negative emotions are guides to get you to feel a better emotion. If you're feeling depressed, call somebody. If you're feeling angry, be angry about it. It's not about feeling the emotion. It's asking yourself, how long do I really need to feel it? And the answer is, you can feel it in half a second and then move on. Let's take a few moments together as a collective group in our own quiet and safe space to assess our emotions right now, see what we're feeling, noting why we might feel those ways, and then brainstorm a couple ways that we can divert our attention to more positive feelings. And from this state of being, you can slowly come back from your sense of pure consciousness back to my voice and use this time as a reminder to remind yourself this feeling of peace, this feeling of joy, and this feeling of love is within you. It's always been within you. And you don't need me or any other person, place, or thing outside of you to feel this emotion. It just takes a little bit of time and conscious effort to come back here. Let's take our final collective breath together, focusing our awareness on the base of our spine as we breathe in through our belly, feeling that energy travel up our spine, all the way up the back of our lower back, breathing up even further the back of your upper back, the back of your neck, going past the back of your head now, all the way up into the top of your head. Hold that breath, keep holding, squeezing, feeling the energy build, and go ahead and let the breath go and feel the entire world lift off your shoulders. From here, you can start to slowly move your hands, your fingers, your legs, your neck, shoulders, the rest of your body. Start to bring back your conscious attention to your body in the room. Whenever you are comfortable, you can open your eyes. But remember, this is no rush, as this is your time and your life, but we are all done. <laughs>